Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this Lightroom tutorial, we're going to take a look at editing portraits taken around green trees, forest, lawns, you name it. We're going to be taking a look at portraits, getting skin tones right, and the greens right, and what you can do when you encounter some tricky situations. So grab yourself a snack, grab yourself your computer, download these raw files at signatureedits.com slash free dash raw dash photos, and you can edit along with me. Let's hit that intro and get into it. All right, so let's get started together. We're going to make sure we reset our photo and take a look at what we got here. When we take our exposure up, you're going to see we've got a major lens flare going on from up here. That's why we've got these rays coming down through the forest. We're going to have to add some contrast back into this shot. So we're going to start by just taking our dehaze tool and seeing if that's going to do the job. And as you can see, it sort of helps up into a point, and then it just gets weird. So we're going to take it right to that point and then back it off a little bit. I'm just going to add some contrast overall to the image. Take my highlights back. We can try taking our blacks down. And our white point, maybe around there. Okay. So that's how far we got so far. Bam. Bam. Now let's head over to our tone curve. Add a little bit more magic. So. I'm using the point curve of the tone curve, so it's this little white white one right here you can select. And if you don't know how this works, watch my full tutorial on the YouTube channel, but this is our white point, highlights, midtones, shadows, and blacks. So we can adjust how bright the blacks are, how bright the shadows are, that kind of thing, and basically add some selective contrast to our image. So I'm going to take my shadow point, and I'm going to take the shadows down. I'm also going to take the blacks up a little bit because I don't want it to be quite so intense. Then I'm going to take my white point, take that down a little bit, take my highlights down a little bit. Okay, so here's before and here's after. We've added a little bit more contrast. We could take our midtones up a little bit more if we wanted to go really crazy and then go back to our main basic panel and dial this back. Okay, so with photos like this, honestly, it's tricky and it's going to take just some practicing and some attempts of different things. So we're going to keep going until we find something we're happy with. Definitely, we're not there yet. We're going to do some local adjustments now. And I'm going to start by just brushing on her skin. Press O if you want to see what you're doing. Reset this brush by holding Alt. Hit the Reset button. And then take our contrast down. Hello, come on. Reset, take our highlights down. Shadows up a little bit. Something like that. Okay, so we've got kind of still a flat image. We want to add some more contrast to it. And these greens still don't feel right. Neither does her skin tone. So let's start by just adjusting our white balance overall. Warm it up maybe a little bit. And perhaps add a little bit of magenta. Okay. Take our exposure down just a smidge. And we've got some major like bright spots happening on her shoulder and on her forehead. So I'm going to see if I can pull those back a little bit with an adjustment brush. Reset that. Take my highlights down, exposure down just a bit. Okay, before, after. So we're just trying to even out these hot spots on her skin. The funny thing about when you shoot in the trees is sometimes it seems like the light is really soft and then you get your images back and you're like, oh shoot, these actually are very harsh. And that's kind of the case here. The lighting is actually really, really harsh on her skin, which is part of the reason it looks so weird. When we get the contrast up to a level we like it elsewhere, her skin starts to look really weird. Okay, moving on. Let's go to our HSL panel. And now, as a rule, <laughs> I have found that in general you want to take your greens and your yellows and desaturate them. If you're in the trees, if you're on the lawn, whatever, just taking them back a little bit, they'll almost always be slightly too intense. So take your saturation down and you can see the massive difference we have to play with, just depending on what kind of look you're going for. I'm going to take it somewhere around there. And I'd like to warm them up, but maybe a little bit more too. Okay, something like that. Now let's take another brush. Let's brush on the background here. And 
And we can warm it up maybe a little bit. Add some more dehaze, see what feels right. And now if I add a lot of contrast to the background of the image, then I can take the contrast down overall. And her skin will feel a little bit better than if we pushed it too far. OK, so here's before. Here's after. Certainly not perfect, but we've made some progress. Now we could take this sun flare and enhance it a little bit by adding a radio filter. Reset this. I do have a preset that I'm just going to use. So let's go down. We've got a sun flare preset. And if you're wondering how to make one of these, you just take your exposure up, temperature up, contrast down. We're basically adding a whole lot of haze, taking the sharpness and the contrast out of that spot. And then we can move that where we need to, somewhere like that, and dial the whole thing back. Hit this little triangle. And sometimes when Lightroom is working the way it should, <laughs> there you go, by doing that it will take all of these sliders and equally just slide them back so that we have 35% of what it was before. So now we can just enhance that sun flare a little bit. So here's before, here's after. Just getting rid of a little bit more contrast and then adding the pop back by lowering the blacks. So here's before, here's after. Now we could keep messing around. We could go to our HSL, play with her skin tones a little bit, maybe make them slightly more red. But the further you push it, sometimes the worse it gets. <laughs> so I don't want to take it and spend all day on this. We'll move on to our next photo. I'd love to see your edits. Make sure you tag at Signature Edits Co on Instagram so I can see what you come up with with these particular photos. Okay, so this photo looks great. I love how soft this light is. It's going to be absolutely a dream to edit. We're going to start by taking our temperature and our tint and just adjusting them because it's way too magenta. So we're going to take that back to around there. And I'm actually looking at the background. I'm not looking at our subject because what's happening is the light is hitting these green leaves, hitting these red leaves, whatever, reflecting onto our subject, and that's affecting her skin tone. So I actually want to adjust for the background, and then I'm going to fix her skin tone separately. So somewhere around there feels right. I can then grab a adjustment brush, brush onto her skin, and just add that magenta back so that her skin doesn't go all green on us. Somewhere like that. We'll also pull the contrast down a little bit. Highlights back just to even out the lighting. Her face is quite a bit brighter because it's facing the sky. Shadows up a little. Here's before and after. Right? Okay, next up, let's take our background and let's just separate it from the foreground. So we're going to go down here and turn on our auto mask. Press O to see what we're doing. And if we're lucky, Lightroom will do a decent job. In this case, not super great. Hold down Alt to get to your eraser. And just erase it off of our subject. OK, for our purposes, I think that'll be fine. Let's reset these settings. And I do have a couple of presets from my brush pack that I'm going to use this one right here, Water Sky Pop. If you don't have this, well, you could get them with the presets, or if you don't want to buy the presets, obviously you can just pause the video, copy these settings, and save that as your own custom brush, okay? But if you happen to buy presets from Signature Edits, they come with all of these adjustment brushes, so that's kind of a fun little extra. Now one thing I do like to do, take the whites up and the highlights up. Because we're dropping the exposure, by doing that, it's going to make it just feel a little bit more natural, because the whites and the highlights are preserved a little bit. So here's before, here's after. One last thing we could maybe do is instead of taking our clarity up, we could take our clarity down and our texture down. Just to give us a little bit more background separation. OK, so here's before and here's after. Lastly, maybe we'll just take our brush, add a little bit of texture and clarity to her hair and her jacket and our sweater. And if you want to, go into your color grading panel. 
Let's just warm things up maybe a little bit. Add some oranges to the highlights. Greens to the shadows. Oh, midtones. <laughs> this is midtones. Orange to the midtones. Greens to the shadows. And I don't know, what are we feeling? Do we need anything on the highlights? Not really. I'll maybe leave them. But we could probably pull our highlights up a bit. Okay, before, apre. Alrighty, this one with the green door. So we're going to start with our white balance. Warm that up. Mm, probably around there ish. Take our magenta somewhere around there. And I'm actually going to go down to the calibration because this doesn't feel right, and I think we're going to need to make some adjustments down here. So, what really doesn't feel right is the reds. Like her skin just does not feel on point. So, let's just see. Probably around there, and then maybe take our saturation up a little bit in the reds. Okay, that's feeling much better before, after. There we go. We maybe take our blues. Saturation down a little bit. Okay, so that's what that's doing. Just a subtle change, fixing her skin a little bit. Oops, bump my desk. Okay, next up. Well, we've already got some contrast in the image. We don't need to worry about this too much. I'm maybe going to pull the highlights back just so it's not quite so intense with blowing out the background. Take our exposure up. Okay, now, I like this door a lot, but I feel like I want more of like a dark foresty green. So I'm going to take the greens up a little bit towards blue. Then I'm going to take the saturation down a little. And the luminance down a bit. Okay, then the hue of our yellows is feeling off, so I'm going to take that and either desaturate them or just take our luminance down a little bit. Okay, here's before and here's after. Now it's feeling really way too warm at this point, so we'll dial that back. And honestly, I'm not loving the colors in this image. I feel like there's just too much going on. We've got the blues, the purples, the reds, the yellows, the just every color going on. And so it's not cohesive because of that. So instead of messing around with it in color, I think I'm actually going to try this one in black and white. So I'm going to take my saturation, turn that all the way down. You might be wondering, why am I doing that instead of just pressing V on my keyboard and turning it to black and white mode? Well, it's because of a couple other things it lets you do. So when I take my saturation down, I'm going to take my dehaze, my clarity, my texture up a little bit. Add a little contrast because I like popping black and whites. Okay, somewhere like that, say. Now, if you have the saturation down instead of just in black and white mode, you still have access to the HSL panel, which goes away once you go into black and white. You also have access to your color grading panel. And so we can actually add a little bit of color to our photo. And it's just slightly different in the way that it interacts with your photo. So if I want to, I can still play around. Of course, now that I desaturated everything, this isn't going to do much. <laughs> I just find I like it better. It gives me some more options. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and expand this brush. I'm just adding a radial mask. I'm going to go down to this brush I have that I like. Invert it with the apostrophe key. And it's kind of like a mobile spotlight that just makes everything else a little bit less clear. Takes the exposure down slightly. Adds a little bit of focus onto our subject. Then last of all, I'm going to brush on her skin. Take the contrast down. Texture and clarity down a little bit. Shadows up. Okay, before, after. All depends what you like. And last of all, we got this nice portrait by the road. I'm going to show you a little quick trick. If you want to warm up the background and get a really nice, warm, saturated background, take your temperature up. Don't worry about her skin for now. We're going to fix that in a separate brush. Take your vibrance up a little. 
your saturation, you know, you name it. Get the background kind of where you want it, okay? So let's say I want it right around there. Okay, now I'm going to take our brush. We're going to brush on her skin. Turn on my auto mask, good. Press O. Yeah, it's done a reasonably good job. Going to reset that and just take the temperature down. Basically just to undo the warmth that we added to the whole image. Take our contrast down. Somewhere around there. So really quick and simple to add a lot of warmth to your images. while keeping your skin tones kind of intact. Good. All right, so that's it for our four images. You can go ahead, tag me at Signature Edits Co. I'd love to see what you come up with this week. In the meantime, create something awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment below if you have any requests for future videos and questions. Happy to answer those. If you want some free presets, grab those at SignatureEdits.com. All right, peace. See you later. Thank you.